This is Theresa here, and today I am celebrating my four-month surge anniversary. So this is my um, monthly weigh-in and um, inches lost, kind of a, a, a summary or a reflection um, and progress for the month instead of a weekly update. Um, I had my surgery on July 18th, 2012, and I weighed it in at 217.4. And uh, before that, starting like earlier in the year, January, February, I had lost 10 pounds prior to my surgery. So my peak weight was 227. Um, and today's weight uh, is, I'm at 178.4. So that is a total loss since surgery of 39 pounds. And then since my highest weight, so that makes it 49 pounds. So really I've lost 50 pounds in 2012 that's how I look at it so um, but it's just strange to think that I've lost 50 pounds I've never lost that much weight um, even 39 pounds I've never lost this much weight at, at you know at one try and and uh, it's a nice to know that this is a uh, permanent thing it's going to be a permanent thing because I'm gonna make sure of it <laughs> but I had the lap band with plication surgery back in July and I've been, um, you know, every month trying to do my measurements and just to see, because not only do pounds show our progress, um, but inches do too. Inches sometimes are more accurate than the pounds. Um, but, and so my reflection for this last month, so I'm entering into the fifth month, so I've gone, I've lived four months since my surgery. Um, and this last month, I've kind of just lived in maintenance land it seems um because uh, i i've had a 3.9 pound loss in the whole last month um which definitely is not um acceptable to me <laughs> and as far as my inches go i've only lost um and, and i'm not discounting what i've lost but and i'm thankful for the 3.9 pounds and thankful for the inches but i've lost four and a half inches and mostly that is from um, I, cause I check, I measure my neck, my arms, chest, ribs, uh, waist, hips, thighs, and calf. And the only loss that happened was, um, I lost two or an inch in my ribs across, you know, the, my ribs right under the breast. And then, um, I lost two inches in my waist, so that's nice and an inch in my hips, but the rest of it, and like half an inch in my calves, big, you know. So anyway, that to me is still not is enough for just be, it's, it's not enough for me for my, for just being this early on past um, my surgery and in this journey. So I'm trying not to beat myself up for it. I'm not going to, but this is a, a restart of this next month. Um, because I've this last month has been more like, yeah, I mean, I I got to a point where I was I had lost more than I've ever lost, and I actually see the difference in in how I look, and I've been getting compliments. So it's like something in me was saying, uh, oh, okay, we're happy here then, and no, I got a long way to go. Um, but I want to give you a body shot. Last month I didn't, I gave you a report for my car. I never found the time or made the time to, uh, give you a good report. So two months ago I gave you a body shot and I haven't looked at it, um, since then. I don't know what, how much, I've lost a lot. The, the, the inches are quite a bit since, um, that body shot. But anyway, I'll give you this one. And uh, these are 16s, these pants. And as you can see, I, they are pretty, pretty sizey on me now. So I think I'm down. And I bought these new, um, planning on, you know, wearing these for a while. But I don't know how much longer I got in these. So <laughs> I think I'm down to 14s now. And I started out at 18s bottoms and like 20, 22 top. Um, so anyway, there's... And, uh, so anyway, it's, I've, I've got, you know, I'm what, 178, um, but I still have, I want, my goal, my, my goal is to get down to 135. That's my goal right now. Of course, when I get there, 
then I'll make the decision if it's a good, you know, if it needs to be more or less. So, but right now at 178, I still have a lot to me to go. I mean, I, and I'm not just trying to be, uh, but I mean, yeah, I'm just, I'm not close to uh, uh, trimming off enough of this weight to, uh, to also, and also health-wise, I mean, I'm still on the blood pressure, some blood pressure medicine, and um, the diabetic medicine, and on metformin, you know, the, the oral medicine. I'm off my insulin, and next month in December, I'll um, be seeing my doctor, my primary care physician, and uh, to, she's going to reassess of what medications that I need to be on, because I'm still on um, Crestor for cholesterol. Triglycerides have always been high for me. I've always had bad triglycerides, so it's slowly come down. Um, but and she told me I could cut my um, Crestor in half, but I haven't yet. I haven't done that. Um, but I did cut my uh, blood pressure in half, and she was. I did that on my own. Um, not that I recommend you doing that. I just took the chance and I did it on my own. Um, and she was okay with that. And then I took myself off the Humalog insulin, which is the the um, um, meal time, you know, several times a day insulin that I was dependent on and it still didn't bring my numbers down like it should. It didn't bring my numbers down to where my numbers are now without it. And all that is due to healthier living, being healthier from this new lifestyle and losing this weight. So, and I'm not still perfect on the, on the blood sugar. I mean, it still could, there's still room to lesson on the blood sugar and that is due to the next 45 pounds I have to lose. Um, so my goal is to be down to 135. If I'm 178 now, so what is that? 45 down to, you know, so do the math. I can't, I can't do the math in my head. I'm a finance manager at work, but I am solely um, spoiled by Excel spreadsheets and calculator, 10 key calculator. So I can't add in my own head. <laughs> So anyway, um, but yeah, that's my goal is to uh, get down another 40, what is that, 43 pounds. And I think that's pretty good knowing what I have because there's a lot here in the middle. There's a, still a lot in the middle that I could totally get rid of. Um, so, and along with my, you know, with, with the goals of the medications, getting off of those, and I go every quarter year to my doctor uh, as a diabetic patient and uh, so she can assess my blood work and everything so I hope to I need to make my appointment and I'll try to make it and get report back before the next monthly update which would be December 18th and uh, report back to you what happens with my um, with my physician and all my medications and stuff because that was the ultimate goal why I, why I began this journey or I finally just had it with what lifestyle I was having. And, uh, uh, you know, it's just, it's, it's tired of popping all these pills and shooting with insulin and it still wasn't doing me any good. I'm doing better now than I was with all that medication. So medication does not solve the problem at all. Lifestyle does. Um, one more thing. I mean, that's my reflection back in this last month was, you know, getting off this, this mindset of I'm okay at this size or whatever it is inside. It wasn't me thinking that, but it was subconsciously, you know, I kind of backed off and started eating more carbs, starting to test out my band, see how far I can, not doing that anymore. So I ordered me one of those Berryware, um, uh, bowls, you know, that have the little slots, um, to measure out an eight ounce, uh, serving of food that I'm going to take, use for lunch and dinners even. Um, and start concentrating on my portions this month and because um, my portions have been out of control carbs have been out of control and lack of exercise too because this last couple weeks especially this last week I have not um, hardly done any exercising so I'm refocusing you know and this next month we'll uh, I need to get back on with the rules and stuff and um, start what is this month for you know complete month five by um, with a, showing a much better progress than this last month was. So that's the goal. And also this last month, my hair started falling out. So I, yeah, um, I think it was after starting the month four is when my, um, well, was it, it was right after, yeah, 
my hair has been steadily, steadily falling out. Oh my gosh. Um, so I try to fluff it, but it's already been kind of thin up here, but it is really, thank goodness, thank the Lord, I've got thick hair, but, and there's, so there's plenty to be gone, but no more. <laughs> I don't like this, so I need to make sure my, um, protein's up and, you know, but it's just the nature of the beast. So, um, and I have hope from others, uh, uh, VSG Tanya, she, uh, VSG Tanya, she totally, uh, has been giving her updates on her hair loss and giving me hope that, uh, yes, this is not forever. And I appreciate that of her. So, um, anyway, that's my, uh, update for the month and I'll see you back on Wednesday for my weekly update. So I'm at 78.4 and I'm hoping cause I had gained, I had gained this back whenever I did my last Wednesday's update. So anyway, hope to get down below that. But focus is back on, exercise is back on, and uh, I'm not going to let this cold weather stop me and going to keep on keeping on, especially through these holidays. Um, so all of us, God bless, be careful through the holidays, um, and uh, don't let it be an excuse, because I've told myself I'm not going to let the holidays, Thanksgiving meal and all that be an excuse, if not. And so do extra exercising and extra uh, measurements <laughs> so anyway god bless y'all and i'll uh, i'll see you on wednesday bye